position of the standby power switch. Okay, well, let's go back over here. Let's power everything. Let, let's power number one, and let's power number two. Now everything is already powered. The switch, the standby power switch is normally in the auto position. So if they ask you, hey, what do we use the auto position on the standby power switch? Is to depower only, only the standby buses. Look what happened here when I put the, the switching off. See? You only depower the standby buses. When do you want to do that? Can you give me an example when can you use the off position? When you're doing like the electrical fire or smoke, right? When you're troubleshooting the system. If you want to find out, maybe your problem is here. Maybe your problem is in the AC standby bus or in the inverter. Because if you go to the QRH, you look over here, boss, normally. So you want to write it down? Go ahead. A standby power switch off position. When we use the standby power switch in the off position, it's only to depower the standby buses. Only to depower the standby buses. If they ask you, can you give me an example where can you use the off, you know, that off position? You're on the electrical smoke or fire. Look over here. When you have an electrical smoke or fire and you're troubleshooting the system, right? The first thing is going to tell you, hey, put the bus transfer switch to off. So you can isolate the buses, right? The left side from the right side, the BTB. Open GB1. Woo! Now you lost the entire thing. What about if your problem is here? What about if your problem is here? Why should I lose everything here? You see what I'm saying? Now it's going to say, do the smoke continue or stop or continue? Okay, so close GB1. Open number two. Do the smoke continue? Yes. Now what are you going to do? What are you going to do now? Because you don't have, now you can put the standby. Instead of doing all this stuff at the beginning, first, let me leave the, let me leave the bus transfer switch in auto, and let me open just the GB here. See? Do you do anything? No, because you have the BTB in the auto position. You see that? So that's why they tell you to open the bus transfer switch. But what we're gonna do first is, hey, why we don't do this? Go to the standby and put it to the off. Let me see if my problem is here, because you have an inverter here. Or let me see if my problem is in the DC standby bus or here. But how are you gonna know that that's where your problem is? Because a lot of times the smoke stop. That's why they ask you that question. Every time you depower a bus, if the smoke stop, it's because you have a short on that system. See what I'm saying? So by depowering the standby buses, maybe the smoke stop. Now you can continue with the entire electrical diagram power. You see? But they didn't tell you that. The first thing they're going to say is, hey, open the bus transfer switch to off and open GB1. Now you lost the entire thing. And maybe your problem is here. Or here. Or here. You see what I'm saying? Why should I lose all this when maybe my problem is only here? Now you can do this if you want now. Go to the standby and put it to off. And look what happened here. Now you lost the entire left side. But in order for you to do this, you have to know the switches. What exactly you're doing. Make sense?